Hello, everybody. Say hi, Daisy. Okay. That's my girl. Yeah, that's my girl. So we are in Louisville, Colorado. And we just went, well, I went skiing for the day. And then I just took Daisy for a walk because there's a good girl. And I met a ski buddy. If you've ever been skiing, you know, if you go by yourself, you often just hook up with another skier that's there by themselves and you just tend to, you know, take the lift together and let's try this one. Let's not try that one. We're not ready for it. So I met a guy that was a ranger, army ranger, uh, has been out for several years, but we just kind of clicked with humor and uh, he's from the Midwest and so we it was his second day he's worked in the ski industry for years and it's his second day on the slopes so we had a ball <laughs> we did bunny runs greens all day and then we did one blue <clears throat> and <laughs> we were not ready for it we did it but both of us fell and <laughs> But it was a great day <clears throat> and he paid for my lunch so that's always a bonus and uh so yeah tomorrow we head out uh towards montana and i'm just so glad i went skiing um i just you know it, i hadn't been on the slopes for years so just <clears throat> getting on the bunny slope and just doing it over and over until you know i wasn't with anyone else so i just did it until i was comfortable and then i went to the you know the green slope until I was comfortable with that and it's just nice to go at your own pace and uh, get some good exercise <clears throat> excuse me my cell phone doesn't work here so I set it the directions while I was in my hotel and then you know sometimes you have a the cell phone will have a different voice when it's out of range like it's not using the right towers. So it's like this other lady's voice. <laughs> <clears throat> so when I got there, I had no way to get access to Wi-Fi again to get directions back. And I'm terrible at reversing directions. And it was several turns, so I wasn't gonna remember it. And so I could remember how to get down the mountain, out of the little town, and then into Boulder. And then I just didn't know what to do. So I just rolled down my window. I started asking people, hey, how do I get back to Louisville? I said Louisville, which is apparently the wrong thing to say around here. It's Louisville. <clears throat> and some lady was just nice enough to let me tag along. So she let me follow her all the way into town. And so that's how I got back. I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't have uh, directions. It's kind of flying blind. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. And so now I'm going to order some Indian because I love Indian. And a lot of places I go, there's no Indian food. There's no ethnic foods a lot of times because I go to places that often in contracts that are, you know, outside of the big city. And so <clears throat> it's kind of nice to sit here and eat all this fun food and go skiing. And I tell you what, I might ski again on this trip before January 3rd because I just really enjoyed myself. My left leg gave out on the last one. My uh, injured left calf just went kaput. So I, it took me <laughs> it took me 20 minutes to get down the run. Probably, I don't know, maybe 15, I don't know, but it seemed like forever. And that's about it. Daisy's been enjoying her long walks in town. There's a lot of grass with a ton of bunnies. And so she gets to chase bunnies. But that said, I just wanted to check in with everybody. <clears throat> By the way, I sold my house. So while I was in Pueblo, I just crunched the numbers and realized if I hold on to the trailer, it's going to cost me all of the profit I'm going to make in Phoenix because they're worth more in Phoenix, the trailers. And I thought, well, yeah, I'll make an extra grand or whatever, but dragging that thing around is going to cost me that in gas. So I was like, I might as well just sell it. So 
I just cleared it out, put it on Craigslist, started clearing it out. I had a buyer within 30 minutes and I sold it for essentially what I bought it for within six hours. He drove in from Denver, looked at it and drove away. So everything I own besides a few Rubbermaids at my parents' house is in my truck. It is to the moon, to the roof. Um, so there's Daisy's seat and then mine and that's it. It's packed. And then I have chains and <laughs> all kinds of locks around all my toolboxes and my scooter. And <clears throat> I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to store the scooter and the bike. I can store the bike in the back of the truck in Phoenix, but the scooter, do I want to really just keep it in my truck for three months in the back of the truck? Because I'm going to be at a hotel on the second floor, so I have nowhere to park it. So what I was thinking about doing to make it really easy is I get on Craigslist, sell the skid that I have, the foldable skid that I drive it up on, get rid of that, sell it. And then with that, invest that money, because now everything's more expensive. I can invest that money into the next item, which is going to be the, um, I don't know how to say it, but it's a, it's a scooter carrier that hooks onto the ball on the back of your truck. So you just drive it up sideways and it, it's like this. The only problem is, is you can see the backup camera, but it doesn't alarm you if you're too close to things. It just alarms all the time because that scooter is going to be in front of that sensor, which kind of stinks when, you, when it comes to parking a big vehicle like that. So, but it's something I've done before and I might just have to go ahead and buy that because I don't see another option besides, you know, taking the skid off the roof of the trailer, the frame that I installed in Florida, putting it on the bed, driving it down, collapsing the skid back and putting it up on the roof. And then when I come back to the truck, I take it down and put it in. It seems a lot, a lot of work and, um... So anyway, I have to keep kicking around ideas. The thing is with this lifestyle, everything changes. Like what was great 90 days ago is completely obsolete 90 days later. Um, <clears throat> I say that over and over, but it uh, takes money to make money. And especially when you have a couple toys, like I have two toys and, and uh, you know, you have to really, are these really toys that I want? Cause I have to modify how I do things to make make it possible for me to carry those with me. But everything's good. Um, I'll be living in a hotel in Phoenix. And yeah, I'm having a really good time. Really good time. And I can't wait to spend Christmas with my family. Actual Christmas. And so that's it. God bless y'all. And uh, I'll talk to you later.